and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so if you have not subscribed the channel yet please subscribe because you don't want to miss any of these tutorials today's problem is find all possible palindromic partitions of a string which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one string s and its length can be any Anything from 1 to 20 so it's a very less like a small string okay 20 length maximum 20 length of a string and what we have to do we have to find all possible ways to partition it such that every sub string in the partition is palindrome so like we have to return an array list of array lists okay array list of array list and inside this all these like one will be our answer array list final and inside that all the array lists will be those which are basically palindromes strings okay and uh, the thing is we cannot miss any of these string like i cannot miss e so uh, like g e e k as you can see this all in this include all the characters g e e k s and it's like all the individual strings are also palindrome similarly you can see here it contains all the characters of uh, the given string and all the sub string all the strings here are palindrome as well so g is palindrome e e is palindrome k is palindrome s is palindrome okay all right similarly if you will see here a b c b a we can see like a b c b a this is one list which contains all the characters of the given string s and all the elements of this array uh, like all the strings of this array are palindromes similarly this here you can see all the strings are palindrome similarly here you can see all the strings are palindrome like there is only one string which is palindrome okay so we have to basically return an array list of array list and uh, like every array list every child array list should contains all the characters of the given string s and all the characters should be containing and like uh, they will be separated if they are separated so they should be palindrome okay i think you guys have got the code uh, the got the uh, problem statement okay all right so let's think of the solution solution is basically we have to check for all the substring length okay like basically all the substrings like i will check with g is g then e then this e then e and k s or is this uh, palindrome basically what i want is basically to check like g is palindrome okay then e is palindrome okay k and s okay so one list i got get after that i have to check like two to length g e is g e a palindrome then e k s if then g e e k s then g e e k s and similarly for each indexes so this is what we have to do let me move to one note where i can explain you in a better way so we have to basically iterate over this string and we have to check if a is a palindrome okay then check for the given remaining string okay similarly if b is a palindrome so b will say okay b i am a palindrome this much and now i will check for again the parent like the next strings again c b a so all these are done now what i am going to do basically i am going to write a function let's say that function name is check you can have any function okay so it will be getting few things first one is the given string s and second one is the index 0 which is basically from which index i am going to start checking okay now whatever index i am getting i will start from there and i will try to get like look currently i am at 0 okay so what i am going to do i am going to start from 0 i will check like first one like from 0 index till 1 a string is a so is a a palindrome uh, let me control z this draw so guys please with be with me is a a palindrome yes it is a palindrome now what i am going to do i am going to call this check function again but this time my starting will be one now look, look a is added so i will add it into my 
tmp array list as well let's say tmp dot add and what add add a like current string a because it is palindrome okay and now i will uh, like recursively call this function check again but this time with s like s given string s and start one okay again i will come here so basically one again i will like iterate so b like first of all one string b is b palindrome yes so again call this function uh, now currently look in tmp it will be containing a b and after that uh, like what like again so s check will be called this time as with two index okay again i come to two index c so c is also a palindrome okay it will be added to tmp and similarly b and a both are palindromes and it they are added okay so when i will reach to the end i will basically uh, add have one answer array list let's say this is uh, like my answer array list and in that answer array list i will add this tmp i will add this tmp okay so this is one of the array which is added in the answer okay all right and after that look so one is added now after that once i will come outside like uh, ba till this is done so now again i added you see i added tmp dot add a so i will remove it like once we are done i will remove it from this tmp okay so ba so now uh, like abcba is the new string and from there a is removed okay now earlier we were only checking for one one string i will check for two string like ba is both a palindrome because look a b c b a one instance is already added in array list and let's suppose it is a a let's suppose it is a a okay now uh, look a b c b a so it is already added and now again what i'm going to do i'm going to let's suppose a is there something like this it says already added now what i'm going to do i'm going to check for two two strings like a a so yeah a is also a palindrome so it will be added okay now you can see this much is there like two i have got two okay after that uh, like a a so now uh, again i will backtrack to c now c will be removed and instead of c i will check for c a and then a in like basically i want to check all the substrings and get the palindrome look when i am going to write the code of it it will become very very clear to you now let's move on to the code section so that i can explain you with writing the code i think it will be more easy okay all right so let's make an array list let's copy this only something like this and answer new array list something like this okay all right after that i will create a temporary one of integer type uh, it will be like say keeping track of till what index i am let's suppose i am at this index k k is basically 0 1 2 2 index so tmp will have the palindromic substrings before those like g e e okay so all the palindromic substrings it will have already okay so tmp uh, basically we will do backtracking here okay after that i'm going to call a function let's say its name is check you can keep it anything as i'm starting from zero index i will pass both tmp and answer okay and once i will come out of this check i will simply return answer so this is what we have to do we have to now implement this check functionality let's implement it so static um what it will return guys look it will not return anything static void check okay and uh, like you can see first thing it is expecting is this string s after that what it's expecting in integer index and after that it is expecting tmp and answer let's include them as well uh, like this and uh, after that 
this guys i will explain you while coding uh, because like backtracking problems are a bit tricky so i will try to explain it with writing the code okay all right now suppose when we are done so if look my current index like index which from where i have to check for the palindromes if that index is greater than or equal to s dot length s dot length it means we have reached till the end point now whatever it is in the tmp i have to add it to our answer array list how i am going to add it i will simply do answer dot add new array list and add uh, like the tmp members into it something like this and that's it and i will do return okay basically I, why i am doing new add li array list so that it creates a new copy and once i will like i will do backtracking in this tmp i will add elements i will remove elements so it should not impact this answer okay that's why i have created a copy by new array list and adding all the elements of tmp into it all right okay i think we are good till this point after that you remember i told you like first of all like i will only let's say g and i will move on then i will add two elements like check for two elements g e are there a palindrome then i will check for three okay how i'm going to do that we have to simply use a for loop let's use that for int i is equal to index plus one okay and i is less than s dot length something like this and i plus plus okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to like get whatever current string is so current string is basically string current is equal to what s dot sub string my starting index i already know which is i and d and my ending index is what i that's why i am doing i plus one because look the last i is not included in the substring function so if i will do something like first of all zero and uh, for this i will be one so substring will be something like zero comma one so only zero zero at character will be included okay which is correct there in the current now i have to check here look suppose suppose g e so if i am checking g e both is this a palindrome if this is not palindrome we don't need to move further we don't need to move further because all the substrings should be palindrome and we are taking g e if this is not palindrome we can't do anything so we have to check for it if let's suppose is palind this is a function which we need to implement passing current of cus not cus current okay so now i will check here if my current string is palindrome then only i will move enough further like to check for more palindromes and add it because if this string is not palindrome no need to move next okay so if it is palindrome what i'm going to do i'm going to add it to my tmp i will do tmp dot add current okay now move on like again call this check function recursively this time s will be same and look now i have included till i okay so now like till i i not included like i index is not included before that i have done so now my new starting index will be i okay so i will pass i and after that uh, like the remaining things like tmp and answer okay all right now guys look you see g e e k s all are added now what we have to do we have to remove them from tmp so that like backtracking we have to try all the possible ways so k and s are added now s will be removed and then i will check for k s i will be something like tiny thing and now i will increase because we are revisited till the end so now i will increase and now we will check for two length so for that we have to remove the latest element added so what i will do tmp dot remove tmp dot size minus one guys it's a pure backtracking problem and a very good one okay all right so that is it here like we don't need to do anything if it's palin i will move further if it is not palin i will again like try with a one length greater and then again like do recursively okay all right now i just need to implement this palin function let's say static boolean is palin and guys it's very very easy to check if any string is 
palindrome or not let's suppose i'm getting a string current uh, how can i check come on int i is equal to 0 j is equal to current oh sorry current dot length minus 1 while i is less than j just check if the characters at i and j are same or not so if current dot caret i not equal to current dot caret j what we are going to do we are going to simply return false because no use is there if uh, E, e so if like you know how to check palindrome first character with the last character then second uh, character with the second last character in this way so if anyone is not matching i will simply return false otherwise uh, i'm going to update like i plus plus and j minus minus okay and after that once i will come out of this while loop at 31 line it means the whole string is palindrome and i will simply return true that is it guys that is it let's try to submit it but before that i can see few errors first one is basically our total brain fade uh, it should not be integer it should be string we are not adding integer similarly for here it should be string because we are adding strings okay and second one is basically index can never be equal to s dot length why because i have not added equal to here so we have to move like suppose i want need to include s when i need to include s my i should be equal to s dot length in sub string because the last one is not included so if i will be something like 0 1 2 3 4 4 is index this so till 4 we cannot get s for that i need to go to uh, 4 5 so for that i will have to do i is greater than less than equal to s dot length and another thing is this bracket is i think added without any use let's try to compile run this i did a few mistakes just i'm a bit tired today okay so it's expecting and it's correctly compiling let's try to submit this meanwhile if you have not subscribed the channel yet please subscribe the channel like the video comment down how was the explanation and you can see this brain button here so basically it is a way to add the problems so that you can revise them later so i will just give you a quick walkthrough of this as well click on add button here and find all possible ways it's uh, like all the is filled you just need to add for review and then okay so you can see on june 26 you have to revise it again how june 26 because if you will see here you can see like the revise after days is set to 8 you can configure it as you want like after how many days you want to revise and uh, add the problems and use this chrome extension it's absolutely free safe the link will be in the pinned comment and that was it for today this code you will get on my github make sure to subscribe the channel like the video and i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye